Welcome to the Puritan Bennett short self-test tutorial. To conduct a short self-test, you must have available the components and equipment you will use on the patient. Patient tubing, expiratory filter and collector vial, inspiratory filter, humidifier as applicable, and other accessories. Additional requirements include a number one rubber stopper to block the airway of the patient Y, two gas sources, air and oxygen connected to the ventilator, and each gas source pressure must be between 35 and 100 PSI. During this tutorial, we will not be utilizing a patient Y. The patient circuit will be connected as displayed. Turn on the power switch located on the front of the breath delivery unit. The system conducts the post power on self test and displays at the ventilator startup screen. At the ventilator startup screen, touch the SST button lower touch screen, then press the test button on the left side of the breath delivery unit within 5 seconds. You must press the test button within 5 seconds of touching the SST button or the SST will not start. Touch the patient circuit key in the lower touch screen, then use the knob to select either adult, pediatric, or neonatal patient circuit. Press accept to complete your selection of the patient circuit type. The ventilator automatically starts the test sequence. The SST flow sensor, expiratory filter, circuit resistance, and compliance calibration test require your intervention. The system will not wait indefinitely for your response. Otherwise, you don't need to do anything unless a test result is alert or failure or SST is complete. The SST flow sensor test. The system prompts you to connect the patient circuit to the inspiratory filter. One, connect the patient circuit to the inspiratory filter, but without the humidifier. Press Accept to begin the test. The system will now prompt you to block the patient Y. Once the patient Y block is complete, please press the Accept key. If the status of the SST flow sensor test is a failure, you cannot use the override function. You will have to repeat the test. The system checks the accuracy of the inspiratory and expiratory flow sensors after the test completes, the system prompts you to connect the humidifier if applicable. When done, press the accept key. The circuit pressure test will begin. The system verifies proper function of the breath delivery unit pressure sensors. Circuit leak test. The system determines the ability of the circuit to hold pressure. If the test detects excessive leaks, the system reports a failure. Expiratory filter resistance test. The system prompts you to detach circuit tubing from the expiratory filter. Detach the patient circuit from the expiratory filter. Then press the accept key to begin the test. The system will now prompt you to reattach the patient circuit. Reattach the patient circuit to the expiratory filter. Then press accept to begin the next test. Circuit resistance. The system prompts you to unblock the patient Y. To unblock the patient Y, remove the tubing from the inspiratory filter, then press the accept key to begin testing. Compliance calibration. The system will prompt you to block the patient Y. 1. Block the Y. 2. Press the accept key to begin the patient circuit compliance test. 3. Press accept to indicate yes or clear to indicate no as appropriate to indicate whether or not there is water in the humidifier.
Short self-test reports a test result status for each of the individual tests. Use Table 3-2 of the Operators and Technical Reference Manual to interpret the test results and to determine how to respond. This completes the Puritan-Bennett short self-test tutorial.